Do you often thank God for answered prayers? You might be missing the boat. Hey, Barry Smith here, YouChoose.Community, author, husband, father, pastor of 25 years, and a guy who really loves the results of prayer. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, is this idea of answered prayer. When we thank God for answered prayer, that's gratitude. Awesome. But when we thank God before our prayers are answered, that's faith. My wife has that written in our shower in some of this crayon stuff that's meant for showers, I guess, or bathtubs. But the idea here is that so often we are grateful to God because of answered prayer, and that's good, and we should do that. But how often do we not thank God in advance of that answered prayer? Now, this is not a name it and claim it sort of gospel. That is absolutely impossible to try to measure up, and who are we to tell God what to do? However, however, it's not a name it, claim it. It's more of a name it, trust it sort of a theology. That we're going to name what we, what we think God wants for us, and then we're just going to trust that it happens. And if it doesn't, it's fine. Because listen, when we understand who we're talking to, that this is the God of the universe, and we understand that he is in full control of everything, he is large and in charge, and we understand that we're dependent on him for our protection, our pardon, and our provision, that he's the provider, when we get all that straight, we know who we're talking to, we know he's large and in charge, that his deal is more important than our deal, that God's deal is way more important than ours, his will is more important than ours. Once we get that set, we can kind of ask God for anything because our framework and our mindset is correct. It is in line. It is in tune with God. It is there that we can ask God for anything, and we should get it. Because we're not asking selfishly. We know who we're talking to. We know that His will is more important than ours. We know that we're dependent on Him for everything. That puts us in this small place of submission and going, God, I'm going to thank you in advance for this. And let, me, let me give you an example. We recently had eight golden doodle puppies. They're absolutely gorgeous. And the first weekend that they were available was on Saturday and Sunday a couple weeks ago. And on that Friday uh, night, we only had one real decent lead. And we were like, what are we going to do? And so my wife, because she's so full of faith, she goes, we're just praying in advance that we're going to sell these things and it's going to be great. This weekend's going to go fantastic. By Sunday, five of the eight dogs were gone, which, by the way, there's still three left and they are on the best sale that we've had yet. Just saying. They're gorgeous, gorgeous golden doodle puppies. We have one male and two female. So we're just thanking him in advance that he's going to take care of that over this next week. If he does, awesome. If he doesn't, that's fine too. But we are, we are in faith just saying it's going to happen. My wife did the same thing when the doc, doctor said you should get a heart scan. He said the same thing to me. I went and got the heart scan. Um, when it hits about 400, you start to get kind of in trouble. I was a four, which means my heart was like almost perfect. Well, for some reason, my wife thought she was a, that I was a one. So she goes to get her heart scan. She thanks God in advance. Thank you that I have a zero or a one on my heart scan results. I don't even know if you can get a zero. A zero might mean you're dead. I, I don't understand. But she goes and she gets a one. Thanks, God. Like, it's just no big deal. Her heart is absolutely flawless, like perfect when it comes to the, I don't know, plaque or bacteria. I don't know, something around the heart. None of that's there. Again, I want to make sure you understand this is not a name it, claim it sort of gospel. This is this idea that we're going to go in faith. We're not just going to be grateful for what God does. We are going to move in faith. I encourage you to maybe step out. Remember who you're talking to. This is the God of the universe and that his deal is more important than your deal and that you're dependent on him for everything. Once you've got that in place, now we go to God in confidence and thank him in advance for answering our prayers. I suggest you give it a shot. And then let me know how it goes in the comments below. And as always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It helps us get the word out there. And if you like our stuff, consider giving us a tip on PayPal or a tax-deductible donation at youchoose.community. Those links are both below. So right now, go ahead and hit that thumbs up ding, and share this thing because no doubt somebody you know probably needs to hear this. Until next time, God bless.